Hey, Test Kid Dangers, Monday at 5. Right now on News Channel 8 at 11. Hello everyone, I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for staying with us tonight. We enjoyed a fantastic Saturday across the Bay Area today. This video shot in downtown Tampa as the sun set and you can see the moon starting to sneak in just between those two high rises. Definitely a beautiful sight today. Let's check in out with Storm Teammate Meteorologist Ian Oliver with a look at the overall forecast for the rest of the weekend. A beautiful shot there, Rod, waiting on the full moon tomorrow evening, but a great start to the weekend today with temperatures just below average, low humidity levels, Temperatures, though, cranking up as we move on through the second half of the weekend. Here's your temps right now. 67 Tampa, 71 St. Pete. It's 66 degrees in Sarasota. Cooler across a northern spot. 60 in Brooksville and just 57 degrees in Inverness. Got a weak cold front across the southeast. That's washing out. High pressure building in from the west, and that's the main feature in our weather as we move on through the next several days. A tranquil stretch, a warm one that features very little rainfall. Starting off your day tomorrow with temperatures near average. Average mid 60s, high temperatures tomorrow, much warmer, heading for 86 degrees. Humidity is still low. We'll have a whole lot of warmth in the extended forecast, almost no rainfall. I'll have that forecast for you coming up in a few minutes. Rod. Sounds good, sir. We'll check in with you in just a bit. Now to a story that's all new tonight. On the other side of the law, a Bay Area police officer caught stealing tonight from a Walmart. News Channel 8's Meredith Sensulo has that story now from St. Pete. A 17-year veteran of the Gulfport Police Department and his wife apparently tried to abuse the self-checkout line here at the Walmart on 34th Street South. According to the St. Pete Police, Gulfport Police Sergeant Matthew Parks and his wife walked out of Walmart with several items they didn't pay for in the self-checkout line. I wasn't able to find out what items were taken, but the total was less than $100. Sergeant Parks and his wife avoided arrest because of their clean records. They both qualified for the adult pre-arrest diversion program, which means they'll do community service and pay restitution. Of course, the big question is what this five-finger discount could mean to Sergeant Parks. He's been with Gulfport Police since 2001 and was promoted to a supervisory position in 2013. News Channel 8 was unable to reach Sergeant Parks tonight, and I did reach out to the Gulfport Police Department, but they have not yet responded with a comment. In St. Petersburg, Meredith Sulo, News Channel 8. Breaking news now out of Polk County. A tanker carrying pesticides overturned along Manmouth Grove Road and Camp Mack Road in Lake Wales. Now, we don't know exactly how much of that pesticide may have leaked, but the Polk County Sheriff's Office does tell us that none of it is getting into any waterways, at least not at this point. We're going to keep monitoring this. We're also told that no one was injured. In Hillsborough County tonight, a man is dead after getting hit by a train in Valrico. Troopers tell us the victim was 28-year-old homeless man. They say that he was actually using his cell phone and had headphones on at the time of that crash. The area of State Road 60 and Valrico Station Road was closed down for quite some time, but tonight those roads are back open. A woman on a motorcycle uh, is fighting for her life tonight after a crash in Pinellas Park. Now, police tell us that a truck dragged that motorcycle several feet on 70th Avenue near the 5700 block. No word yet on if any charges will be filed in this case. Happening right now, Pasco County deputies on the hunt for a suspected porch pirate. Take a look at this video. It's surveillance video that caught the suspect in action at a home in Port Ritchie. Deputies say that the person took two packages. They were rough, roughly about $80, um, uh, roughly worth about $80. Call Pasco County deputies if you have any idea who this person is. The NFL draft is officially over. However, tonight, a former Bucks player is making headlines, but not for his performance on the field. It's actually from this video of a takedown by police. It's sparking a lot of outrage right now. News Channel 8's Evan Donovan has that story for us. The video only shows the end of an arrest that happened back in December, but it's just gone viral this week online, and now a police officer is on administrative duty. I'm not even doing nothing. This video of a past member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers went viral this week, just as the team was drafting future players. Former Bucks cornerback Desmond Merrow is seen in handcuffs, being taken down by police just outside of Atlanta. I pretty much felt like I was going to die. 30-year-old Merrow played football at the University of Toledo and was briefly a member of the Texans and the Bucks. 
This video was shot by a witness to the arrest. The police report says Merrill was driving aggressively, chasing a vehicle with two white males. Merrill says he was chasing them because they threw coffee at him. I'm driving up the street, two Caucasian younger kids, they pulled up beside me. Oh, they were shouting some racial slurs towards me. You can't just wake up and do that to people. This video, captured by another bystander, shows what police say is Merrill making a threat. I would have shot him in his head for some stuff from where I come from. Merrill says he wasn't threatening the other driver. I never threatened to shoot anybody. What I said was that where I'm from, stuff like that can happen if you get coffee thrown on you. Police searched Merrill's car and did not find a weapon. I can't breathe! I can't breathe! The victim of a hate crime became the victim of police brutality, which is shocking. Mero now faces charges of obstructing an officer and reckless driving. His attorneys say they plan to file a civil lawsuit against the police department. In the Tampa News Center, Evan Donovan, News Channel 8. That's what's story that's all new tonight. A small brush fire sparks in Wikiwachi. That happened late this afternoon. You can see some of the smoke from Eagle 8 HD t uh, today. That fire is roughly 11 acres. A second brush fire also, by the way, broke out, but no one was hurt and no homes are in danger in either of these cases. We'll keep monitoring that, though. Today, thousands of people stopped by Raymond James Stadium to support and raise awareness for autism. Of course, Aid on Your Side is a proud sponsor of that event, and News Channel 8's Amanda Shavari was there today. When he first got diagnosed, I really wanted to find um, someone, something to kind of kind of understand what we were going through, my family and I. So to see so many people, the amount of people every year, this grow, this event is unbelievable. Thousands, many dressed in their autism awareness blue, all here for the same reason, support. This event is so important to us. This is our signature fundraising event. This is where we raise the money to support our mission, to continue going forward with the research and awareness that we know is continued to be needed. A sense of community that can be felt all over the 13th annual Tampa Bay Autism Speaks Walk. Our own Jen Holloway and Lila Gross were the MCs and led the crowd in a sensory friendly cheer as it was announced that this walk alone raised more than $300,000. In the autism walk, we all stay together and we walk together. And now more than ever, it's important to walk together in the fight to raise awareness for autism. The new CDC just released their report. The prevalence of autism is rising. We need more research. We need to get more awareness out there. Amanda Shavari, News Channel 8. And now to our coverage of the Lightning's road to the Cup. They lost a tough game today, but the fans are still hopeful. Well, I was kind of hoping that, like, the last series beat up the Bruins a little bit, but as it turns out, you know, they're pretty resilient. I tell you what, they, the guys will regroup. They'll be back on Monday. It's a tough deal. Boston's a great team. Of course, the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs began Saturday as the Lightning played host to the Boston Bruins. Despite a valiant effort, though, the Bolts did lose 6-2 to two today at Amelie Arena. News Channel 8's Andy Sabo joining us now. Andy, this isn't what all of us had hoped to see today, but at least it didn't go into double overtime and kick <laughs> us in the middle of the night. That's good, right? Like the last game. That is correct. <laughs> no, not necessarily the result that we all yeah. wanted after the Lightning had that additional rest, but... You can't underestimate this Boston team. The Bruins won all but one game against the Lightning during the regular season. The Bolts never really led this game, but the team was within a goal of Boston heading into the third period. 3-2 to two was the score until Boston pulled away in the third, scoring three goals in their 6-2 to two win. This loss, the Lightning's first at home this postseason. However... It is only game one. Game two will be played Monday evening. Puck drop is at 7 o'clock at Amway Arena. Of course, the Lightning really need a win here because heading into Boston in a two-game hole really isn't an ideal situation, Rod. So Not at all. Game two played on Monday. Puck drops at 7 o'clock. All right, Annie, thank you very much. We'll mm -hmm. see you back here for sports in just a few minutes. Well, tonight, he is making history being the first one-handed player to be drafted into the NFL, and he happens to be from right here in the Bay Area. We will introduce you to Shaquem Griffin coming up. Plus, a cow goes after deputies in the whole thing. Caught on dash cam, of course. Take a live look outside in downtown Tampa from our new Channel 8 Tower Cam. A very nice, quiet evening slash morning. Ian has a full look at the forecast coming up in just a moment.
One of the best fans in hockey saying about News Channel 8 today. You get up and you actually see something that you could use that morning. Yeah. You only go good with a morning cup of coffee. We're like huge fans. So when you guys wake up, what are you looking for? I like the travel reports because you know what is going on before you get on the road. What do I like? You guys. I moved here 20 years ago and just fallen in love with you. He's a huge fan of yours. We oh. watch you guys every morning. You guys are just great. Lightning strikes on News Channel 8 today, weekdays starting at 4.30 a.m. Not every loaf of bread gets this much attention. But when it's made from scratch and baked fresh daily, it's not just bread. It's a masterpiece. Over a dozen varieties of scratch-made breads to choose from in store. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Do not mistake serenity for weakness. Do not misjudge quiet tranquility for the power of 335 turbocharged horses. The Lincoln MKX, more horsepower than the Lexus RX 350, and a quiet interior from which to admire them. It's the spring event. Lease the Lincoln MKX for $329 a month, plus get $1,000 owner loyalty or conquest bonus cash. It's the Volkswagen Smile at Spring Sales Event, where you'll find great deals on award-winning SUVs that are sure to make you smile. With over 40 standard features and with America's best bumper-to-bumper -bumper limited warranty, during the Volkswagen Spring Sales Event, you can't help but smile. Do you know them? Uh-uh. Do you know them? Uh-uh. It's the Volkswagen Smile at Spring Sales Event. Hurry in and get a new 2018 Tiguan S for just $179 a month, now with the People First Warranty. When we say every Culver's Butter Burger is cooked to order, here's what we mean. Can I get a Butter Burger? The Culver's Deluxe, please. Ketchup, mustard, pickle, and onion? Craig Culver, I'm going to cook for you. Follow me. I would love to. Come on, to. man. Fresh Midwest beef. It looks great. And we're looking for that nice sear, just like we got right here. That's where that great steak flavor comes from. Totally fresh, made to order the way you want it. Searing it to perfection is really cool to see that. Welcome to Delicious. Now, this is a great story. This young man is doing some great things, and he is from the Bay Area. So, with the 141st pick in the NFL draft, the Seattle Seahawks selected this young St. Petersburg native, Shaquem Griffin. But what makes Griffin's story so inspiring is that he achieved his football dreams by playing with only one hand. He was born with a syndrome, with, uh, which affected his left hand. So, at the age of four, he actually had, the, had that hand amputated when he, his parents saw him trying to self-amputate his fingers because he was in so much pain. Now it's going to be a family affair next season for him. Griffin is going to play alongside his brother Shaquille. Tonight the nation's first Crystal Lagoon is up and open. Grand opening taking place this afternoon in Wesley Chapel. That lagoon is roughly seven and a half acres of crystal clear water. Residents will be able to swim there, kayak, paddleboard, and even sail in a small boat if they'd like. Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps on hand for today's ceremony as well. President Donald Trump trades spending the night in the nation's capital for a night in Washington Township, Michigan. We're going to tell you what he's there for after the break. How do you gauge the greatness of an SUV? Is it to carry cargo or to carry on a legacy? Its show of strength or its sign of intelligence? In crossing harsh terrain or breaking new ground? This is the Mercedes-Benz SUV family. Greatness comes in many forms. Lease the GLC 300 for just $449 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. At Kia, we've taken America's best value to the next level. With peace of mind from a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty and confidence from the brand ranked highest in initial quality two years in a row by J.D. Power. Because when you value everything you do, it's felt in everything you make. Kia, America's best value. Right now, get 0% financing for 75 months on the Forte or Select Optima models. Visit your local Kia dealer today. 93% of all air conditioner breakdowns 
could be prevented with routine maintenance. Air Rescue's total system rejuvenation is only $79. It guarantees your AC system won't break down for six whole months. Plus, you're guaranteed to save at least $79 off of your power bill over those same six months, or we'll give you back 100% of your money, no questions asked. Go to AirRescue79.com or call 1-888-NEVER-WAIT to schedule your guaranteed total system rejuvenation today. There's nothing like coming home and sleeping in your own bed. Right now at Ashley Home Store, upgrade your sleep with the new Serta iComfort Hybrid Mattress. Available only at Ashley Home Store. Special hybrid coils and gel memory foam support your body and keep you cool throughout the night. Starting at $17 a month with 72 months no interest financing. Hurry in and receive an additional $200 in Ashley Cash. Plus, with next day delivery seven days a week, buy today and sleep great tomorrow. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Well, business at DNA testing companies is booming. There are a lot of people, though, questioning whether there's a risk to your privacy. Eight on your side's consumer investigator Shannon Bacon is joining us now with what she is working on for Monday. It seems so simple. You swab your cheek, put the sample in a box, and mail it away. But what happens to your most personal information after that? <laughs> Some privacy experts want more government regulation to make sure insurance companies and employers don't get your data. Plus, you need to remember DNA testing can reveal a secret. Be aware that if you, or yourself, a sibling, a parent, grandparent, aunt, uncle, cousin, gave up a child for adoption um, or possibly a male who fathered a child they weren't even aware of, that could come to light. We're digging into the fine print so you can make an informed decision. Join us Monday night at 5, only on News Channel 8. President Donald Trump spent Saturday not in Washington, D.C. Instead, he held a campaign-style rally in Washington Township, Michigan. The president skipped the White House Correspondents' Dinner for a second straight year. At today's event, he said he will likely meet with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in the next three or four weeks. The White House says the location for the summit with Un has been narrowed down to two places. However, officials aren't saying where those two places are just yet. Holy cow, take a look at this dash cam video out of Huffman, Texas. It shows a close encounter between deputies and a very angry cow. They were actually investigating reports of a cow possibly being hit by a vehicle. Didn't appear to be hurt, but it appeared to have a pretty bad attitude, at least about humans. You can see the cow charging at those deputies. Maybe just wanted to spread the message, eat more chicken. Now. Max Defender 8, the world's most powerful radar, and your Storm Teammate forecast with meteorologist Ian Oliver. Final weekend of April got off to a fine start today with comfortable temperatures just slightly below average, low humidity levels. Danny captured the tail end of the day from the Circle B of Bar Reserve out in Lakeland. Beautiful shot there. Today's high temperatures again, just a couple degrees below average. 84 normal for this time of the year. 83 today in Tampa. Just 75 though in Clearwater. 79 in St. Pete. A little cooler a coastal spots with an onshore flow. Here's what it looks like right now in downtown Tampa. A beautiful evening. Just a few clouds a streaming on through or overnight period now. 67 degrees. The wind direction out of the north-northwest at around 6 miles per hour. Current temperatures 71 in St. Pete at 66 in Sarasota. Just 60 though in Brooksville and 57 degrees in Inverness. Wind direction today was out of the northwest pulling in that onshore flow off the Gulf. Tomorrow it turns more northerly and eventually easterly as we move on to the new work week and that'll help propel the warm up we have in store over the next few days. Here's the key though, the dew points. These are still in the 50s, very comfortable for this time of the year. So even with our temperatures heating up overall, still a pretty comfortable uh, air mass to enjoy over the next few days, even with our temperatures heading for the mid 80s and then eventually the upper 80s, close to 90. Starting off your day tomorrow, temperatures are running in the mid 60s. By tomorrow afternoon, those high temperatures up around 86 degrees, a couple degrees above average, and that's where we'll keep it moving through the new work week too. Upper 80s to close to 90 degrees for the balance of the forecast there. That's going to be the case right into next weekend. Here's why. We had that big dip in the jet stream and upper level trough across the eastern United States, but now through the second half of the weekend and throughout next week, this ridge of high pressure really asserting itself, and that's going to send our temperatures way above average, up close to 90 degrees. Max Defender 8, that's our live sweep at 1241 a.m.
picking up nothing and it won't through the extended forecast. Very dry period, even though we've got some clouds drifting in uh, from the west off the Gulf. That weak front to our north is washing out. A little bit of extra upper level moisture. So, so some clouds passing by through the overnight hours. That's really about it. Should just have a few clouds around. First thing on Sunday, more in the way of sunshine, getting warmer, but the humidity stays low. And then a similar, similar look for Monday with high pressure uh, still in place. We'll see those temperatures getting even warmer uh, back up above average. 87 degrees Monday afternoon, same for Tuesday. 88 on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think a lot of spots close to 90. We may even get get there here with these temperatures running well above average to the extended forecast. You notice though those overnight low temperatures right. mid 60s indicating comfortable humidity by next weekend they're closer to 70. Not so much. Uh, it's huh? getting a little bit stickier. Yeah. Saw the 389s in a row there so. Probably hit 90 one of those days. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep watching. <laughs> Thank you sir. All right we've been talking so much about hockey but let's not forget the fourth round of the NFL draft took place today. We'll recap who the Bucks selected. Also we'll head out to Amelie Arena and then we'll talk about some hockey and hear from the players after the Lightning suffered their first home loss of the postseason. That's all coming up next with Annie in Sports. Most dangerous things, all next week on News Channel 8 Today. The time is now! Sunday, the vote for women. If the speech is so important, why don't you give it? Must be saved. They will shoot whoever goes up there. Someone has to do something now. Timeless, Sunday on NBC. A simple swab uncovers your ancestry, but what does it mean for your privacy? Let's talk about some of the legitimate concerns. Eight on Your Side digs into the fine print to uncover legal risks. DNA test kit dangers, Monday at 5 on News Channel 8. Nissan's latest tech surrounds you with peace of mind. The 2018 Nissan Rogue. With available Pro Pilot Assist that can keep an eye on the road ahead and help you stay centered in your lane. Experience Rogue, America's best-selling SUV. Lease the Rogue family for $159 per month or save up to $87.50 on select models. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice gives you everything you need for wherever you are in life. Like, let's say you're a bachelor. You love sports, live sports. But your girlfriend, she loves movies. Spectrum TV gives you free HD and free on demand for $29.99 a month. Call 855-440-2999. Now, let's say you get married. You'll need a house. No, a bigger house. Because you've got a kid. No, kids who use all your bandwidth. Bandwidth you need to power devices that make your home smarter. So you need the fastest internet starting speeds for the price. With Spectrum Internet, you get 100 megabits with a free modem. Surf, stream, and game for $29.99 a month. Call 855-440-2999. Plus, call your brother in Puerto Rico or Canada. With Spectrum Voice, you can call more countries worldwide with unlimited calling for $29.99 a month. So no matter where you are in life, Spectrum gives you everything you need. Get Spectrum TV, Internet, and Voice for $29.99 a month each with no contracts. Call 855-440-2999. Let me guess, another spring event. Wrong, it's the Honda Dream Garage spring event. But it ends soon. If you hurry, you can get a deal on Honda's amazing vehicles and take it from me, these are all pretty amazing. Oh look, it's my amazingly amazing Honda IndyCar. Which is a great segue for me to say race into the Honda Dream Garage spring event. Seriously, go fast. I mean, speed limit fast. The Honda Dream Garage spring event is ending soon. You could get a great deal on a Honda vehicle at your local Honda dealer. A 6-2 loss, obviously not the result the Lightning wanted in the first game of the second round, especially against a very good Boston team. A hard-fought battle today in case you missed any of the action. Let's head inside Amelie Arena. Brad Marchand getting a little too close to Tyler Johnson right here. No player wants that, right? The Bruins strike first on the power play. Patrice Bergeron on the faceoff, and Rick Nash is at the right place at the right time. To tip it in past Andre Vasilevsky, one to nothing. Still one nothing, Boston. The pass to Bergeron. He shoots, he scores, two nothing, Boston. Everyone starts to panic a little bit, but Dan Girardi lets one fly right here. Goal lightning. Boston leads two to one. The Bruins not going away, though. Nash scores his second goal of the day. 3-1 to one, Boston. And the goals, they keep on coming. Mikhail Sergachev notches 
his second goal of the postseason. Right here, Tuka Rask is going to complain he lost his skate blade, but it does not matter to the referees. 3-2 Boston heading into the second intermission, and the Bruins have themselves a third period. Marchand scores to make it 4-2, then Bergeron adds another. 6-2 is your final. The Bolts fall in game one. For the most part, I thought, puck possession-wise, I thought we had it in their end a lot, and, um, you know, we'll just have to, to win next game for sure. I hope it's a little bit of a wake-up call. I mean, we had a long layoff, and... Um, you know, these guys have a big emotional win, and you can see it there for sure. Um, they've got some confidence, and they should feel confident after a game like this, going on the road like they did. And um, So as far as us, it's, it's getting back to, you know, controlling what we can here, playing the way we can, and, and uh, you know, anting it up a little bit more, a little bit higher uh, uh, effectiveness with the puck, and, and uh, we'll go from there. With the 117th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Jordan Whitehead, defensive back from Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. Zsa Zsa the Parrot making an appearance today at Raymond James Stadium. Jordan Whitehead selected first in the fourth round. The safety from Pittsburgh had nine starts at safety in 2017. He recorded five pass breakups, a fumble recovery, and 60 tackles. Also selected today, wide receiver Justin Watson of Penn and Jack Cicci, a linebacker, linebacker out of Wisconsin. The Bolts had trouble with Boston today. The Rays not so much against the Red Sox. Brad Miller hits a single into right that scores to Nard Span. Rays take a 9-5 lead. Then, Johnny Field hits a 3-1 run homer off Brian Johnson that scores the Danny Hatchmaria and Brad Miller. Tampa Bay getting the win 12-6. The Rays win their eighth straight. Nice. They are now just one game under 500, an eight-game winning streak. I don't think since I've been here in Tampa they've had a, a winning that streak while. that long, but hey, go race. Love it when things turn around. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. Appreciate it. We're going to have a final check on your forecast coming up in just a moment. It's the final days of Ford Truck Month, the place to find one-of-a-kind deals on Ford F-Series, including Motor Trend's Truck of the Year F-150. With best-in-class towing and torque, these bad boys make the rules and break them. That's why it's America's best-selling truck 41 years straight. But like ribs at a barbecue, these deals won't last long. Ford Truck Month ends soon. It's buy now time, partner. During the final days of Ford Truck Month, get $11,750 in total savings on Ford F-150. Only at your local Ford dealer. Dead boat batteries sinking your spirits? Right now, you can save $10 on Duracell Ultramarine batteries at Batteries Plus Bulbs. We should have named it the SS Going Nowhere. Visit BatteriesPlus.com for a store near you. Are you ready for this? $10 a month interest-free. That's your low monthly payment of rooms to go for everything you're about to see. Over 100 perfect picks, just $10 a month for sofa and loveseat sets, sleeper sofas, a dual reclining sofa, a sectional, $10 a month for five-piece dining sets, five-piece bedrooms, wall units and consoles, complete queen bed with mattress, just $5.99 or $10 a month for 60 months interest-free. Right now at Rooms to Go. Let's face it, everyone would love a smartphone these days, but not everyone wants unlimited everything. For people who just need GPS, a good camera, and a few apps, there's TrackPhone, the original no-contract wireless provider. Smartphone plans start as low as $15, with phones from top brands like Samsung and LG at very affordable prices. TrackPhone has nationwide coverage on America's largest and most dependable 4G LTE networks. Available at retailers nationwide. Visit TrackPhone.com for more information and special offers. At Pottery is Art, we cross the globe to find the most unique pottery available. From fountains, statuary metalwork, and beautiful pottery of all shapes, sizes, and colors. Visit our new location in Sarasota or online at potteryasart.com. Final look at our forecast, sir. No rain and a lot of warmth. <laughs> Warm-up starts tomorrow. 86 degrees, our forecast high temperature. More sunshine. Humidity stays low at least through at least the first half of the work week. Later on Thursday, Friday, but especially next weekend, that's where we'll start to see the humidity climbing. 
Temperatures still climbing too. We're close to 90 degrees by the middle of the week. You're gonna have to start putting decimal points in there, like 89.6 degrees. I'm not sure the science is there yet. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally tonight, motorists in Des Moines, Iowa had to share the road with a duck, but it's not just any ordinary duck. It was a giant inflatable rubber <laughs> ducky that somehow broken free from its temporary home and was kind of rolling down the street. A local youth shelter holds a fundraiser there. called the uh, Duck Derby with about 42,000 rubber ducks, and this one just got a head start. Foul play is suspected. He's trying to get to Louisville for the real derby next weekend on his way. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Have a fantastic morning. It's almost 1 a.m. We'll see you later.